Hi everyone, my name is Mitch Tanaka, and I'm currently an intern here at Novato Community Television, otherwise known as NCTV. Along with my fellow intern Olivia Wallace, who helped produce and videotape a lot of this video presentation. While she is currently not available for a voiceover, you will get to see her insight and opinion later in the video. Along with that of our video producer, Marcus Oaken, who I will now allow to give a brief summary of just what we do here at NCTV. Novato Community Television, or NCTV, is the local Novato public access broadcast station. We generate and broadcast content on channels 26, 27, and 30 in Novato, and only Novato. So we're a very, we're a rich community resource for getting video content on the air. Um, we were founded about 13 to 15 years ago. Uh, we are separate from CMCM and San Rafael. We only broadcast in Novato, and we produce content for public access TV, we produce content for the government, the local Nevada government, and for the local Nevada school district. NCTV is located in the Nevada Unified School District building in downtown Nevada. Its address is 1015 7th Street and it houses six employees. To be specific, two interns, one from Nevada High and one from San Marin High, three devoted employees, and one manager. Together, they aim to distribute and showcase local talent and events, as well as informing their audiences through things like public service announcements and commercials. So what exact skills do you need to become an intern at NCTV? Most would assume that they would need some sort of experience with camera equipment or film technique. And while those are definitely good things to have on your resume, you only really need a basic understanding of the filmmaking process. Keep in mind, of course, that the internship is meant as a learning experience. Communication and learning skills are valued just as much as previous filmmaking knowledge. So what are some of the main roles you're about to take up once you get your internship? There are basically five main jobs that you end up covering. Those five would be writer, cameraman, grip, editor, and programmer. These jobs will allow you to better understand the three main categories of filmmaking. Pre-production, where all the writing and planning is done. Production, which is the stage where you actually get to go out and film material. And post-production, where the editing and effects are finalized. There's also a fourth broadcasting stage, which you get to learn as a programmer if you're more interested in pursuing a career in television. It's also nice because these main basic jobs can then branch out into more specific professional jobs, such as writer, director, producer, director of photography, gaffer, grip, best boy, editor, production designer, art director, concept artist, production assistant, foley, technician, and motion graphics. So you may be wondering what does it take to get into those professions? And while it will of course differ from place to place and job to job, we can give you a general idea of what to expect. In terms of education, most studios ask for at least a bachelor's degree. In addition, but not mandatory, we noticed that a lot of studios preferred that you had a degree in fine arts. We were also trying to figure out a general salary for a filmmaker, but filmmaking is such a vague and broad topic that it can be really hard to get an accurate result. It really comes down to which particular profession you want. If you're gonna be a producer, you're gonna get paid more. If you're gonna be an editor, you're gonna get paid a little bit less. It is by no means an easy business to get into, that's a fact. But based on my experiences here, it would be well worth it. Um, so my goals were to gain a broader knowledge about film and editing and to learn about the process and like what goes into making the projects. Um, it was also to see if like uh, film was a career I wanted to pursue in the future and to give me a taste of what it was like. And it was, it was really good. I went into NCTV knowing that I wanted to pursue something in film, but, um, and you know, I've had experiences in various types of shoots and events, but it's always nice to gain um, you know, a more broader perspective on things. I got to use a lot of new equipment that I haven't even known existed before this, as well as just um, gaining advice from people who have been in the field a lot longer than I have. I learned a lot more, and I learned that there's a lot that goes into filming, and it's a, it's a very long process, you know, filming and editing. It's a very relaxed and yet productive environment. Uh, some days we're who are simply sitting around and talking about the latest films that we've seen, the, the, the newest camera that was released, what we want to film next. And other days, everybody is nose to the grindstone working on a new creative piece of programming. One of the things that intrigued me about this internship is, you know, yes, you do have to have some knowledge of how cameras work or how editing 
is done, but one of the things that really is a big undertone of just the whole operation in any filmmaking process is just simple things like organization and you know connections, making sure that you're always on time and always prepared. There's never enough planning or preparing, and this has certainly taught me some skills as to how I can approach that more professionally. It's a lot harder than it looks, but it's a lot of fun. It's very fulfilling. This year, I've worked with two wonderful, wonderful interns, and they've both jumped into their roles immediately. Even before the internship, they were jumping at the chance to go out and shoot events with us. That They've taken that enthusiasm and carried it through the rest of their internship. They fit the bill perfectly. They fit their jobs perfectly. So it's been a pleasure to work with them, and they're even coming back after the term of their internship. They're going to continue vol volunteering at the studio, and I couldn't be happier about that. I came to this internship having very little knowledge about what I was really doing, and I wasn't really sure what to expect when I first got here, but I've learned so much in this internship, film education, film experience, and I got to act a little bit, which was kind of cool. I really like it here at NCTV. I might even come back when I'm not on the internship. I've made really good progress considering I haven't done a lot of it before. I'm just, I'm really thankful I got to do this because it was a great experience and I, I really recommend it to anybody who loves filming. It's, it's a fantastic experience and I can't wait to see it grow. There's still so much more to learn here. Six weeks is not really enough time to learn as much as they have to offer, so.